Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Amnesia Memories. I am the Alchemical Rabbit, Anatoly. Yeah? Can I get out of this chair now? No. <sighs> Fine, where were we? Well, you know... I know what? We know for sure that Kent's your boyfriend, and that you've only just started going out. He said you're his student, but he's too young to be a college professor. Maybe he tutored you or something like that? There's no denying that he's a serious guy, though. The issue is that he's too serious, and he takes everything the wrong way. I'm sure he'd worry if you told him about your amnesia, and there's also pretty much a 100% chance that he'd take you to a hospital. At least there's no urgent problems to address. Let's just keep going, getting more information about you from him. You know, this seems like the wrong message to be sending if you have, like... Amnesia A or... mental disease. Of like, no, 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 don't go to the hospital, man. They're gonna put you in a padded cell and you'll just get worse. <laughs> Indeed. What you need to do is you need to listen to the magical pixie bug <laughs> that is embedded in your brain. Yeah. That's absolutely correct. Yeah. Kids, listen to the magical pixie bug embedded in your brain. Hmm. That was that. Oh. That was a... Text message. Yes. Ah! He's texting you already! You said you're not satisfied with just good morning and good night. So what else do you want me to write? Uh... Hmm... It looks like he's taking your previous complaints pretty seriously. He's serial. Well, if the you before you lost your memories really was in love with him, you probably wanted to hear some kinder words, right? For example, things like, I want to see you, or, I see you. That seems a little strong, considering <laughs> you don't know where this relationship is right now. I love you! Hmm, I guess the source of your fight really was these cold messages. How many more problems do you think he's actually causing than actually helping? Uh, many. That really is a silly reason. You two are a couple, alright? So, how do you think you want to reply to this message? So, do you want to tell him good morning and good night are enough, or you don't need to force yourself to text me? I mean, I feel like the you don't need to force yourself to text me is a resolution better to, like, But isn't it kind of, but doesn't it sound a little more passive-aggressive, like, you don't need to force yourself to text me. Well, so does good morning and good night are enough. Like, both of these are, like, sigh huffy responses. Well, I'm a sigh huffy man. <laughs> You're not tied up. Stop yes, I am. You're not. I am. You tied me to this damn chair. I did not. I'm going to say you don't need to force yourself to text me. What, did the cats do it? Did the cats tie me to this chair? Yeah. I understand. I'll stop sending you messages then. This was an unnecessary action on my part, and a waste of valuable time. It really... It will really help not having to send these anymore. Starting tomorrow, I won't text you unless I have specific business to discuss, so do not worry. What an asshole. <laughs> That's what you asked for, right? I didn't... Uh, I guess so, yeah. How do I end? Whoa! He just sent you a surprisingly long message! Did he take it as something like, I don't want your pity messages, please just stop? Let's see. Anyway, it looks like we found a somewhat solid source of information. That's more than enough for today. Did we? Did we find a solid source of information? What solid source of information did we Your find? Your boyfriend. Okay. He's pretty weird, but at the very least, he doesn't seem like a bad person. It would be good to stay in contact with him. The day might even come when he'll listen to a ridiculous story like, You have a spirit possessing you, and not make fun of you. Yeah, the chances of that can't possibly be zero. It's okay, don't worry. I'm sure your memories will come back, and I'll be with you until then. He acts like that's a good thing. Tomorrow, we should do a full search of your room. We didn't get a chance to check everything today. But for now, you're pretty tired, so let's just get some rest. Huh. Eyeball. Green.
He is green. For St. Patrick's Day! Yay! That was yesterday. Oh, no. It was, I guess... Wasn't it yesterday? No, it was oh, the day, the before. day before. I was like, wait, is today Saturday? I'd be so excited. <gasps> wait a minute! What's that? Flip back a page in the notebook you're looking through. Look! The stuff right here is your schedule for August! I wonder what these red circles on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of each week mean. If we think about it, normally things that would happen on the same day every week would be a part-time job or club activities, right? Or medical conditions. For example, let's say this is a schedule for your club activities. Clubs usually have many members. You'd know everyone there, and, you, and they'd expect you to show up. If you don't show up and you don't say anything on those days, they'll start to wonder why you're gone and come looking for you, and then they'll take you to a hospital and put you in a padded room. Let's see, today is Tuesday. The next red circle is on Thursday, so we have two days, not including today. Okay. Why, did, why is today not included? Well, you know, it's already mostly spent. Is it? It's only eight. That's August. <laughs> I know. Uh, it would be a problem if we don't figure out what this is and prepare for it. For now, the only possible lead for information are the three people we know you knew before losing your memories. That includes your boyfriend, Kent, and also the servers who seemed to know you at the cafe yesterday. It seems like you weren't going out for long, but Kent is your boyfriend, so maybe we should go to him first? Kent's calling. He is, from his septuple X what? phone number. He's got really great timing. This guy is good. This is perfect. Look, for a good opportunity to get information of your plans out of him. Good cadence there. Thanks, sorry. <laughs> you aren't coming today. What? You don't have work today. Let me guess, you are still angry about the day before yesterday. I'll apologize again if you want. Go men aside <laughs> about that day. So, are you not going to come today? Uh, wait, did you have some sort of plans to meet Kent today? He said you don't have to work today, so that means you had a custom of meeting on days when you didn't have to work? Oh, wait, work! Are those circles in your notebook work days? This is really bad! You don't remember anything! What should we do? Is there any way of getting him to tell you about your job? Then we could figure out what to do beforehand. What's wrong? Do you have plans? I, I think you should take a walk with him to your work since you don't know where your work <laughs> is otherwise. I agree. Say what? You didn't seem to be enjoying our walk yesterday, but did you find it agreeable after the fact? No! It wasn't! Having a power walk race isn't agreeable! Well, as you know, taking walks is my daily routine, so I don't consider it an unsuitable proposition. <laughs> However, you desire to go to your workplace on a day off. That's quite commendable, in a way. You were just there yesterday, after all. What? Ah. I see. I'm sure you forgot something at the cafe yesterday. You believed that I'd make fun of you if you told me, and so you tried to come up with a reason to go. Yeah, that's totally it. Am I correct to assume this? You never appear to have any issues with blunt honesty, so this level of thought is... illogical. However, perhaps you may have heard this. A wise man once said, inadequate ideas are worse than none at all. So, to sum it up, the cafe yesterday is where you work. It's actually pretty lucky that we found out where you work, and we only got made of fun of... Uh, and we only got made fun of a little in exchange. But I see now, that's the reason why the waiters knew your name and recognized you. Now then, what should I do? I'm appreciative of the offer, but I'd like to continue progress in my research. What? I thought he was saying you should meet today. If my insensitive idea is correct, you could go retrieve your forgotten item, then come here. There is enough time for that. What? 
Wait a minute! He said, come here? Here? But where? Kent's house? We don't know! And if possible, it would be best to have tea or something at work and watch what they're doing. What will you do, Atoli? How will you answer him? Hmm. I feel like saying you're not feeling confident won't, won't be good with this guy. Yeah, but it's really kind of weird to say I want to watch the servers at the cafe. Maybe you're a judgmental bitch, and you're like their manager, and... I really don't think I'm a manager. I don't know. I really don't. So you think I should go with I want to watch the servers at the cafe? That's what I would go with. Okay, that's what we're going with. Ken's like, hmm. what the fuck is wrong with you? An interesting idea. Do you wish to observe people? Or do you wish to observe your co-workers work. Or perhaps you'd like to experience the atmosphere of your workplace as a customer in order to better serve them in the future. That's a very interesting way of thinking. Very well. That sounds agreeable. Okay, I guess that was the right response. Of course it was. While you're there, you can borrow a manual and compare the two. You could also note any con inconsistencies within the manual. Once you're done, I can meet you here, as usual. See you later. He just said that he wanted and then hung up. What a jerk. But borrowing a work manual is a really good idea. I didn't even know they had one. That's, it, it, most works don't have a manual. My, my work doesn't. We have like a handbook that like... That's a manual. It's not a manual though, because like it doesn't tell you how to do the job. It just tells you like, here are your benefits. And expectations, but not actually how to do these things. All right, let's go to Meido no Hitsugi. No, that is not Orion's voice. It's OG Orion, yo. It's not OG Orion. Yeah. No. What was his voice? Have we met this character? Uh, I think we did. He was he was in there. I don't remember. Make up a voice. <laughs> this is why I shouldn't record drunk and then come back sober. <laughs> what was his voice, Atoli? I don't know. Make him like... I don't know. He's the manager, I think, right? He looks like a manager. Welcome back, man! What, what voice? Oh, it's just you. I noticed this yesterday, too, but this guy seemed really antisocial. Don't you think? <gasps> Is it really okay for a butler to be like this? There's an event- Nope, that's you. There's an event in the moonshine room today! It's a full house! Why is he like... Never mind. <laughs> huh? Oh, he's right. The cafe is full of people today. In that case, as a staff member, it probably wouldn't be a good to take up a seat. Huh. I came to borrow a manual. A manual? Ah. Last week you forgot to give a customer a teaspoon. You stupid bitch. I didn't know. Huh. Your desire to learn is admirable. As a manager, I'll permit you to take a manual with you. See, I told you it was the manager. Ah, so this person's the manager. He's high energy. It, hmm. Really? Here's the manual! Huh. Uh, I guess we should thank him? He just nodded and left. He seemed almost like a ghost. Do we meet any other characters that I need to do voices I don't remember? Probably. There's, Shit. um... There's the black-haired kid that works in the thing, and I think there's the white-haired guy. Oh Did god, meet I, I don't know how them? they talk. The manager was a little scary, but it's good that you managed to borrow a manual from him. We can't observe the cafe today, but it should be fine if we... If you have this to read. Two more days until Thursday, which is the day you probably have work. If we study the manual really thoroughly, I'm sure you'll do fine without your memories. So, let's see. 
Next, we are supposed to go over and see Kent. But we don't know where he is, so let's just try to go back home first. Transitions. Mm. Swipes. Huh? It's Kent! Why is he walking here? Did he come to pick you up or something? His hand's really tiny. Is it? I feel like... I don't think it is. Compared to his face? No. It, it feels really thin. I don't know. Maybe his shoulders are just too broad. Mm. It looks weird. And it seems like he's in deep thought. And he just bumped into a telephone pole! Hmm. This pole is in the way. Ah, it totally. You're finished already. I came to pick you up. Let us go. It, is he just gonna ignore the fact that he walked right into a pool? And where are we going? What's wrong? You aren't coming? It does seem like you want to come over today. Are you still concerned about the day before yesterday? No. Oh my god, no. If you have a complaint, I want you to be upfront about it. I told you I would listen. Or is it something else? Do you want to break up already? Huh. In that case, there's quite a magnificent change of mind. Does he want to break up with me? It hasn't even been a week since we started going out. Are you already waving the white flag? Wait, wait. It hasn't even been a week yet? What? Not a single thing in response. I honestly expected a barrage of chatter from you as usual. So you're chatty. Yeah. And besides, he's the one who came and picked you up. Why is he acting so bitter towards you? Normally, aren't couples who have only been going out for a week all over each other making happy and embarrassing memories? What's with this sour relationship? So, do you dislike the idea of coming Please over? Please don't hold your hand like that. Well, there's only so many places I can hold it considering I'm tied to the bloody chair! You're not tied to the chair. Stop trying to gaslight me. What? N nothing. Oh, you're going to the guy's house. You gotta get some of that sweet, sweet club action. Okay. I see. Then that's good. I hear the first stage in dating is to spend as much time as possible together. Do you think his, like, research is on dating? Yes. Okay. It's on mating rituals. This is concerning. Since yesterday, you've been far too quiet. I'm not saying that I desire to argue with you. I simply wish to understand your intentions. That he shouldn't talk to you so belligerently. If we are in agreement, then let us go. Should we go? I think we already decided that, Orion. Get your shit together. Well, seeing how methodical this guy is, I highly doubt that you'd be in any physical danger. If we just agree and follow him, we'll find out where he lives. This might actually be a pretty good chance. It will, and that chance will come next time, ladies and gentlemen. If you have enjoyed, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I have been the Alchemical Rabbit. That's a train. And I'm a Tolly. And we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, how do I leave the game? Like, okay, no. Escape. Escape does nothing. Uh-huh. Right click does nothing. Yeah. Atoli. Yeah. We're trapped. No. We're trapped in amnesia. <laughs> We're not. Uh -huh. It's